Welcome back to RP2000 development for Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with Realism Overhaul. Just as a reminder, RP2000 is meant to be a career mode that makes as few changes as possible to the stock formula so that it'll be as easy as possible for people to transition from stock to Realism Overhaul while playing career mode, given that Realism Overhaul already takes a lot of getting used to. It starts in the year 2000, you play as a new space startup that might have access to certain out of patent real parts, but mostly have to develop new things unless you want to pay a premium to buy parts from a major manufacturer. So far in this test conducted during live streams, I have stuck to parts in the main body of the tech tree and not from the other manufacturers. In this episode, we begin by aiming for a flyby of the moon. Here's the original live stream audio. We'll do Pioneer first because that's probably the one everybody's gonna pick since Luna is so heavy. We need to make Pioneer 3 and 4 more expensive, I think. Let's see, what are Pioneer parts do we have? So we've got a Pioneer Booster Decoupler. Okay, and then we need a Thor Rocket. I don't necessarily want to use exactly the thing that actually launched it, though. How much LDV does this get, anyway? It's too many little SRBs. Ah. Well, that that's just about right for going to the moon, huh? But there are a lot of SRBs that are just like it, too. But yeah, that's not too bad. I have no idea what these little guys, these top boosters are for, but... That would get it into orbit around the moon. Okay, can it fit in a decent fairing <laughs> instead of a toothbrush fairing? Yes. Now we actually have the Thor engine. That RD270 I've moved, so that's not going to be there. Technically, that should be rocket done. I don't know if I should put it on a rocket. It's probably old enough that they don't care if you make your own copy of it. <laughs> but, uh, well, there's no AJ. 10 190 or anything like that so do we just use the or you know aj10 old version i mean maybe we should just use the vanguard engine we unlocked it but it, you know well it doesn't need to restart also it's got the little Turbo pump exhaust pipes or verniers. It doesn't feel like a particularly good stage. Hmm. See, so yeah, I need to make some small engines that go in this area. That a caster thirty XL wouldn't be flying on the route on the road. That's that should be under Northrop. See, that's the problem. All these manufacturers make things. <laughs> okay, we need some sort of engine mounting thing. I don't know if we have those yet. Perhaps not. Does this surface mount? Yes, it does. Well, okay. I'm sure this is not going to cause any problems at all. Well, that makes better use of the tank anyway. There's crazy thrust weight ratios though. So maybe we just need two of these. Uh oh, can't reach them again. Okay, well that's a little bit more moderate. But now we need a core stage that can do the rest, which is me. 6,500. No, that's not bad for a first stage decoupler. Oh. Do I want to put it like that? Yeah, I think it was meant to fit on the engine bottom, that's why. Okay, which one... 
And they're, they're about the same. I might as well go straight for the DM21, right? Yeah. We could just use the A7 engine. Let's see what that does, actually. Um, it does not seem to be producing Delta V. <laughs> Why? We have burn time, but we don't have any Delta V. No thrust weight ratio. This one says 5 seconds of burn time. Okay, well, let's test it on the pad and see if it lights. Well, okay, this engine is not producing... Oh, wait. It's got no sound, but it's producing thrust. Hmm. Not the greatest specific impulse, mind you. And it's only 37 tons of thrust. Why is it not producing any sound? This is from which mod? Real engines. Maybe... I don't know. Hmm. Alright, well... Okay. Hmm, recover. So put two of these. Not, I don't like the engine, but... I'm curious now because it's not actually making a sound or doing anything. And not showing any info here. So now we have to see what it actually does. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think it'll... Well, I guess we can calculate how much Delta V it's got. At least uh, bottom bound. 5,542. That wouldn't be enough. We can use the actual engine that goes on here, and that would. That is better ISP. Uh, all right. Let me see if it has at least the... Right. Ooh, it po sort of pokes out, though. Why is that? Isn't this the right one? Yeah, we have to fly by the moon. Well, now it shows a Delta V, and that'll be enough. Well, I guess we'll go with it. Technically, we we're supposed to add this turbo pump exhaust nozzle. But why, why am I going to spend extra for that? So it won't roll? Well, we can put fins on. The fins are cheaper than the turbo pump exhaust nozzle. Heck, it doesn't even have an entry cost. 25. Okay. So, well, A7 is useless. <laughs> Let's try for flying by the moon here. Oh, uh, maybe we need an umbilical or something, because... This has a generator. These don't. Uh, but this has trouble attaching to anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, can we not target things? Oh, gosh. Yeah, we need to unlock that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We'll do an off-plane. Oh, how are we even going to know about transfer? Okay, hold on. Let me see how much it takes to unlock the tracking station and all that. Probably too much. Hmm. Forgot about this wrinkle in terms of flying by the moon. Um, 300,000. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out something. Because it's 28... So, when the moon is at its most extreme angle... We want the KSC to be at that end, right? Is that that's how that works, right? Gosh, it is so much easier in stock. Well, anyway, that's a theory. 
Let's see if that theory works. Throttle up. Ignition. Oh, why does this also not have any sound? I I have a sound problem. Hmm, I might have to restart the game. I've had this sort of thing before. We should see what we can do with the procedural tanks. I'm sure we'll be able to dump the fairings before lighting the engine. That thrust weight ratio is going up though. Really going up. Okay, separation fairings and these engines before they get the fuel unsold, right? Well, we obviously have no attitude control right now. These engines don't gimbal. I don't really want to use the RCS that much though. Um, you know what? Stop. I'll just manually use it. We have to use the RCS to, re uh, you know, spin up, well, turn, spin up, and light the next stage too. Oh, we're going a little bit out of whack here. Uh, a lot out of whack. Okay, okay, okay. Right. We can't make maneuver nodes. <laughs> so, let's see, where are we? Does that look... No, that doesn't look super duper like the moon's orbit. No. Well, it's not the worst it could be. Well, uh, let's try that. Oh, no probe communication. Uh-oh. Well, we gotta get communication. Oh, now. Okay, we'll go now. <laughs> Can we do? Of course, once we light the... That engine. That's it. <laughs> right. I mean, we don't have any RCS on here at all. Yeah, no ignitions. Well, whatever. They sure were crazy back then. Oh, I should. I was supposed to roll. Bring a little bit out of whack here. Just keep plume. I mean, we'll get far enough. Well, way far. Or, I mean, it's got to be an interplanetary probe. Um, but we probably got to miss the moon. Maybe we can do some science, though. Beyond geosynchronous orbit is the high over. Wow, we're ready. But it's supposed to be a lunar probe. We might need to change the probe... Signal strength. Probe report. Transmit. That's the only science we have on here? Well, we've lost communication. It's not a bad attempt, mind you. Uh... Oh, 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 we got it. We got it. That counts, right? Yep, it counts. Aha! Not that we could transmit anything. Well, it depends, yeah. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to add that sort of thing in. I mean, it's so light, it's so sort of cheaty to begin with. But we definitely need comms, I think. They wouldn't have... They wouldn't have had no comms. Alright, what kind of money do we have? 223,000. Still not enough to unlock the tracking station. Uh, we might as well just use these buttons. We should do some of these stupid things, but they're not worth it that much. Temperature surveys of Earth in flight. We've got nothing to do flight with. <laughs> uh, but that's not really flight if it's that high, is it? Hmm. That's basically we're coming down in that location. 
we need an ICBM, is what they're saying. Right? We need an ICBM to target these locations and bring a thermometer. Test the non RO part? We don't need that. Ooh, test an RD0208. If this was stock, we could just get that engine. But it has to be tested. Well, we could use it until, I mean, without actually doing that, right? For 426 days. Hmm. Does the Explore the Moon con- oh, we should. Let's get the Orbit the Moon contract. This is a normal satellite can generate power. Antenna can generate power. Equatorial orbit. Uh, at those... Equatorial... Do we have the ability to change our launch site? I mean, I'm not gonna do that from Cape Canaveral. I don't have Kerbal Construction time, so I don't have to worry about that. So, why don't we... Whoa, what's going on there? Oh, those are the locations? Oh, I get it. Because those are... In stock, that that would be where the Space Center is, I think. Anyway, we'll, we'll go with Kuru. We're just supposed to take temperatures. That's all. But it seems to be requiring some precision. Because they're all so close together. I don't know how precise we can be about those locations. Might be an interesting challenge though. Ooh, position a satellite in a specific orbit of Mars already. Wow, they've got some... That's... ambitious. How much does it take to unlock the mission control building? 150,000? That's really expensive right now though. RD-170 splashdown. That, somebody's totally gonna pick up that contract and just uh, use the RD-170 for 426 days. Um, oh, this equatorial orbit's now higher. They uh, changed contracts on us. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be... We need a restartable engine though, but I think we have got RCS. Let me just take a look at our engines before I make the decision on that. We don't have a whole lot of things that can restart. Okay, we don't have anything that can restart, I think. <laughs> so, we could do a two-stager and... But that's not nice. Like, um, IUS, right? IUS circularizes with a small SRB after having a large SRB. But maybe we should just RCS it. We've got the RCS thrusters. We could probably get... That goes into a different thing, but uh, we could probably get into the orbit. We we don't even have one kill newton thrusters right now. We need like precision engineering or not, uh, well something like that. We just got a whole lot of SRBs. I feel so guilty about this. But basically you're gonna start off with all the SRBs in the world. Okay, well we'll give it a go. It doesn't pay that much, but let's do that right now. We've got the Explore the Moon contract as well. Really, uh, budget-wise, we're on the edge here, but I am playing hard mode, so it ought to be hard for for veterans, I suppose. Uh, well, this doesn't actually generate power, though, and so we actually have to be careful. This one does. Alright, we'll do that, I think. So that will be our probe. It's got these little solar panels, except one broken one. So, instead of making a prefab thing, we're going to use a custom tank. I guess a polygon. And we will use hydrazine. So, the question is, how much delta V do we have here? We have 73 kilograms of propellants, and we are 173 kilograms altogether. So, drive mass is 100 kilograms right now. So, we got like a thousand meters per second here. 1,140. I think that's enough. 
Do we want to go with the pain and suffering of using one of the SSRBs? Ooh, this is a nice long one though. Probably doesn't have a collider at the top, hopefully. That doesn't provide a whole lot for this. Well, we've got those. Payload fearing lo Oh, I guess we do, here. Make you smaller. Oh, this is a uh, stock one, is it? It says build fairing. Well, alright. We'll go with the stock one then. Ooh, what is it doing? That doesn't look right. Why has it got that... Don't even know when I get the... Well, I haven't moved everything. I mean, the point is that I only move the stuff... The procedural stuff goes, you know, appears wherever it feels like. Um, I mean, look, who... What, this... this Was this supposed to be part of the FASA mod? Did you know that this was part of the FASA mod? I didn't know this was part of the FASA mod. I mean, FASA fairing plate at one meter. I've never used this thing. <laughs> so... Sometimes, yes, I don't know what it is. There's a lot of parts. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of parts right now. I... did what I could and I'm figuring out the rest to fix it. That's why I'm doing this, so I can fix where things are. And how much they cost. But if we do this, then do we have an interstage? I guess we could use the same fairing base as an interstage. Well, more Arabies. Should we use four Arabies this time? When it comes to the procedural stuff, I haven't really touched them, like the procedural parts or the procedural fairings. Because they're normally correctly placed for community tech tree, so I didn't I was mainly focused on things that wouldn't have been correctly placed for community tech tree. Pretty sure that's way beyond the burn time of these, though. Oh, maybe we should have three and one in the center so that we can mount it better. Sometimes decouplers are in one place, sometimes they're in another place. That's so, so complicated. Guess we're using that one. <laughs> What's our max maximum tank size? Oh, it doesn't limit it though. The only limitation is whether I get... I only have cylinder and polygon and the tank sizes? I thought it was better than that. The um, procedural parts, I mean. I thought they limited it by the... technology that you have. This thing still doesn't show its delta V. Why, are, why is that little fairing so small? Hold on. I say build fairing. Why are you building it inside? Hmm. Oh, great. Well, it's a weird thing. Okay, so this tweak scale we shouldn't do. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's complicated. So what are we gonna... We can't make conical tanks for some strange limitation. Maybe we need something like this. How big is this? Oh, that sort of fits. But that's gonna get in the way. I think we might need boost... Well, maybe we'll use SRBs. Hmm. Looks a little bit awkward. Well, does it at least show Delta V? Yes, it does. That's not enough Delta V, though. And that was the right fuel mixture. Maybe if we go to lithium tanks. We have radial decouplers. 600,000... I don't know, radial decouplers could be really complicated though. What's the biggest booster that we've got? Caster 1. 
Oh, there's a caster too. I'm spending too much money. Hmm. Nine thousand, almost nine thousand meters per second. It's close. Maybe these guys can be a better version of themselves. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's not really a big difference, is it? Uh. Maybe the fuel mixture makes a difference. Let's see. So that's three thousand seven hundred seventy-nine, and then there's a different fuel mixture. Okay, neither of these seem like the right one. What? Oh, because that's the central one and these are... Alright, alright. Uh, these have to be switched too. Alright, there we go. Okay. Mm that gave us 8 meters per second. <laughs> uh, okay, not the, not the change I was looking for here. Maybe we can do with less hydrazine up here. Just to guarantee orbit without using that hydrazine. I think that'll be alright. How much mass is that right now? 180 kilograms. Let's see if this can get 180 kilograms to orbit. What shall we call this? This is sort of a redstone. That's an Araby stage of some kind. We've got caster twos. It's a very confused rocket. Nope, oh, wait, what? Oh, too many parts. We've got, still got a 30 part limit. <laughs> We've still got a 30, 30 part limit. Uh, what the heck do we do about that? Y yeah, remove launch clamps. So well, that'll be really stockish. I guess we, we'll have to see whether that works. <laughs> Can it stand on its butt? Like a stock rocket. Can it do the stock rocket thing? No, we, we can call it the silver bullet. B no, bullet. Yeah. No, it is standing. Now, we don't have any way to replenish electric charge right now. We can't even see our inclination, can we? Um, let's get rid of the rendezvous. Let me see, orbit info. Okay, I can see it from here at least. Okay, and we can do adjustments at the equator. Well, this is cheating because it's supposed to be locked the time to apoapsis, so I'll, I'll hide that for now. Well, it's standing. It seems to be fine. SAS on, throttle is up. And... Launch? Uh, we're not going. Oh, we are going. It just took a little while for the core engine to warm up. We should have lit the core engine first. That wasn't very efficient of me. This has a lot of thrust away ratios. <laughs> I thought it said it had less, but it has a lot. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, no! It's just a little explorer core. <laughs> Deploy solar panels, maybe it can fly. Fly, little explorer pro probe, fly. Well, uh, well, uh, we'll try to avoid it being too slow. Nothing should be too slow in RP2000. It's the future. It's not the 60s anymore. Okay, back to Space Center. So, as it turns out, we need better fins. But we can't add more parts. So, hmm, maybe I can just hold it closer to prograde this time. We can just get the RCS started, even if I don't have it turned on, I won't press RCS yet. 
just in case. Not that they're really powerful or anything. Not during launch, but well, I'll see, I'll see. 21,000! Why is it so expensive? Um... Oh, it must be the SRBs. You know, maybe we should make the SRBs cheaper. The 2,700 apiece. I don't think... Th this caster one is more than that caster one. That's not right. Let me fix that. But for now, I don't want to restart the game for that, so we're gonna launch with this. Uh, throughout all this testing, I've... bit the burden of more expensive parts than we than the price ought to be so I, we're still hearing our other parts drop and explode <laughs> yeah, that is ominous all right SAS on throttle is up and as everything else explodes ignition and launch mine's that rendezvous window is still there Oh, no, 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 not again! Oh! This is a bad rocket. Anyway, anyway... I'm gonna abandon this. Hmm, we've wasted a lot of money on that. 